Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and unexpectedly to a video update on the BMW 7 Series. Now, if you're one of my 75% of viewers that are not subscribed to the channel, do go ahead and hit the subscribe button now so you don't miss out on anything more like this. However, more importantly, follow me on Instagram because if you do follow me there, you'll probably know what's coming in this video and the story I'm about to tell as I ranted and raved all about it on there. So Instagram link is in the description. Go and click on it, give me a follow there and you won't miss out on the daily updates. So today you join me in a beautiful but very, very cold and slightly snowy Wendover Woods in Buckinghamshire. It's absolutely gorgeous here, so quiet. And it's nice to get away from the world, especially when you've been played like a piano, which I have. I put a video up a few weeks ago on the channel saying that it was time for me to part with the 7 Series. I obviously explained all the reasons as to why I'm doing that in that video. So click on the right hand corner of the screen now if you want to know exactly why the 7 Series was put up for sale in the first place. And as with my Z4, I put the car up as an auction with a starting bid of one penny so that I could really give anyone and everyone the opportunity to buy the car and just to see where the price went on it. Now, when I sold the Z4, what happened was immediately after the winning bidder won the bid, they decided to cancel the order, which basically leaves me with absolutely no options but to oblige. I looked at legal routes on if there's anything legally binding about bidding on eBay for a car, but there basically isn't. I had no option but to let them just cancel the order. But luckily, a very, very kind subscriber of mine named Matt was really interested in the car and pretty much came and picked it up the same day. So that wasn't too much of a headache. And so I thought I would give eBay again, despite the advice from my friend Alex at Car Throttle, who you'll know as Alex at Car Throttle, he said basically never to sell anything on eBay. He's had many, many more bad experiences than I have at it. And well, let's just say I should have taken his advice. So the 7 Series went up on eBay. It was very exciting. It went up to £8,000 in the first few hours, which was great because my reserve for the car was actually £8,000. So I was very, very happy that the car was going to sell and excited to see obviously where the price went thereafter, but also to see who ended up with it because I was in the hope that one of you guys would, would end up with a car and maybe that still will happen as I'll explain in a moment. But what happened next was, well, very, very frustrating. So the auction was won, it actually bid up to £8,400, which was good. And uh, immediately I got in touch with the buyer who responded very quickly, explained to me that he's based up in Edinburgh. And I said, well, that's no problem because at the time the car was at my parents' house, which is actually only 15 minutes from Heathrow. So I said to him, not a problem. I'll come pick you up from the airport. You just choose a flight down. I make myself available and we can go from there. You can take the car for a drive and check you're happy with it. And uh, we were speaking back and forth about this. He came up with a flight. I think this was the Monday and he said he's going to fly down on the Wednesday. So it was very, very quick. I said, great. He gave me the time of the flight and we took it from there. I dropped in my number. I said, leave me a message. So I've got you there. And that didn't happen, which was the first little warning sign that was something that wasn't, you know, quite right. Didn't hear back from him. But that was fine because he'd said in writing he was flying in on this 1410 flight from Edinburgh to London Heathrow. It can only go to one terminal. It's British Airways, so Terminal 5. And uh, I went and, you know, parked up and went to the domestic uh, arrivals area to wait for him. And then what happened next? I mean, there's not much of a story to it, but I waited for the best part of three hours. And, well, it was a no-show. He never turned up. I sent him more messages on eBay because... He never did send me uh, a mobile message, so I didn't have his uh, phone number. Sent him more messages on eBay, heard absolutely nothing. Now, there was a flight arriving in from Edinburgh to Heathrow at 10 past 2 or 14.10. And so that's what I thought he was on. So I got there for that time and waited till around 3 when it said baggage reclaim had finished. Although he probably wouldn't have come with any baggage. But I thought, given the benefit of the doubt, I'll wait just in case he's waiting for a bag. It got to around 3 and there was no show. The baggage said bags delivered. So I thought... This is bizarre. Then I spotted there was a flight that actually left Edinburgh at 1400. So I thought, okay, there's a very small chance he's not responding to my messages because he's actually on the 1400 from Edinburgh, not arriving to Heathrow. 
and so he meant to say 1400 not 1410 so i waited that for that flight to land at around half past three and then the same thing again nothing happened i waited for the bags to show as delivered on that flight it was around half past four and still no sign of scott the so-called buyer and uh no replies to any of my messages so basically i spent 20 pounds on getting the car clean that day 70 pounds on putting the plate on retention or i think it's 80 even and obviously uh, a bit of fuel getting down to heathrow because i had to drive from aylesbury so a bit of fuel and of course then the parking at heathrow which cost me a nice bit of 30 quid so all in all about 150 pounds wasted on going to pick up a buyer at around three or four hours of my life um for nothing there's, there's three options here actually let's discuss and i'd like to hear your thoughts below number one is he was playing a prank now alex again alex kirsten from car throttle actually said on instagram that in, in response to, to my post about this he said we'll never try and sell a famous car on ebay and although i wouldn't describe this car as famous obviously it is known across the internet and so there is a chance then that option one he just thought it was a really funny prank to play me like a piano and just uh, laugh at the fact that i would be wasting my day at heathrow and my money uh, waiting for a buyer that really didn't exist so that is option one eh, i can see the funny side of it obviously it's not something i would f do for fun but you know if uh, his wife is sleeping with his boss then i could understand why he would probably do that option two is he bottled it he just decided that actually i don't have the money or his wife that's sleeping with his boss said you can't have that car uh, and also i'm sleeping with your boss and so he just bottled it didn't know how to tell me and just didn't respond to any of my messages which i think would be possible but also very very pathetic and childish option three which is the one that i've sort of come to terms with and i don't mean to smile but maybe he's dead i mean that really is possible isn't it that he just went because i can't tell you obviously it's through ebay and it's just text on the screen but the guy did seem genuinely authentic and enthusiastic he said he was a subscriber he loved the car he'd wanted it for a while but obviously if he was just doing option one or two then he could have said anything he wanted really couldn't he but option three maybe he died but either way it's a little bit frustrating i'm actually really cold i cannot feel my hands as i'm holding the microphone here so seems silly really not to jump in the back of the 7 series where it's very very comfortable and just to continue this story a little bit more i'm much happier now i'm in the back of the 7 series and not on that snowy bench because i've got my heated seat on here in the back and of course i can recline and get myself nice and comfortable so as i explained the whole 7 series sale thing with ebay was a disaster and it fell through I did contact some of the uh, people that had bidded before this guy, but uh, a couple of them didn't get in touch and a couple of them declined to purchase the car, which a little bit sus suspicious. They came up with some pretty interesting excuses, actually. But that's a shame. That didn't work out. It's not too much of a big deal because I do love this car, as I explained. I need the cash freed up, so it's a little bit stressful from that perspective. But it has afforded me to drive the car a few more times, which I very, very much um, enjoyed, actually. Even today, just driving the car out in this cold weather is such a weird juxtaposition between being in this warm cocoon, this stupidly loud exhaust, and then seeing the snow on the road. I very much enjoyed it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. However, I'm pleased to say that the 7 Series is once again advertised for sale not on ebay but with silverstone digital auction so i'll drop a link in the description to that listing i think it ends on wednesday so you've got a few days or so to go and have a look and bid if you're interested in this very car of course i could sit here for hours and tell you every reason you should buy it but i can't recommend it enough as an ownership experience it has been just wonderful if it doesn't sell it doesn't sell and i won't be sad about it i'll have to find some money elsewhere you know it grows on trees right so I'm hoping it will go to a loving new home and that'll make me equally happy, to be honest. So excited for the car to be on there on a reputable auction website where if you bid, you have to pay, which should be something that eBay do, if you ask me. But there we go. That's essentially the story, guys. Um, I hope you found that interesting. It's unusual for me to sort of just sit and not really drive for an entire video, but I've seen lots of you asking in the comments of subsequent videos from the 7 Series, and some of you actually who follow me on Instagram saying, well, what happened next? So I thought I should provide an update for all of you there who, who don't follow me on Instagram, but also just want to know a bit more about exactly what went on. I thought you might find the story pretty funny that I spent three or four hours just sitting for no reason at Heathrow Airport, 
Uh, it's not all glamour, this job. That is the reality of it. Um, I got played like a piano, really, uh, on that one. If he was playing a prank on me, bravo to you. Merry Christmas. But that's the situation we're in. That's what happened. Hopefully you found that slightly entertaining slash mildly amusing. Uh, but also there's once again an opportunity for you to have a look at this car and potentially have it on your drive within the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching this one. Uh, thanks for bearing with me on the content. If this isn't for you with the whole sort of just sitting and talking thing, no worries. It's going to get very exciting very quickly as we go through the month. So thanks for bearing with me. I love you all. Thanks so much for watching my videos and I'll see you all very, very soon.